Wannabe wanted to stop Obiano's re-election. I told him to leave him alone, but he refused. Dan Ulasi, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The former chairman of the People Democratic Party in Anambra State, Chief Dan Olasi, has disclosed that P2B tried to stop former Governor Willow Biano's second term bid in 2017 against his advice. It will be recalled that Obiano succeeded P2B as governor of Anambra and will be reportedly played a huge role in Obiano's victory in 2013. However, speaking during an interview with African Independent Television AIT News, Ola Sidan disclosed that P2B unsuccessfully worked against Obiano's re-election bid because they had a fallout. He said he tried to settle the problem between the both of them, and he, and he even told the bid not to antagonize Obiano, but he did not listen. He said the bid went on to support a candidate against Obiano in the 2013 gubernatorial election, which they later eventually won. Hear him, he said, and I quote, when Peter B. wanted to stop Obiano from his second term, I gave him the reason why Peter would fail and it became very scandalous how that happened because I do not want to go into that. I am not God, but I make analysis based on facts available to me. The governor of Anambra State then, Obiano, called me and sat me down for two and a half hours and told me what his problem with Peter B. was. I called Obi and said what the governor is saying appears to be reasonable to me. Why don't you leave him alone? And finally, Obi brought a candidate to oppose him and he lost with his candidate. Mm. Okay, um, a lot of people are going to ask what's the point here because at this point, that's candidate will then bring, you know, the, you know, they run for presidency. A lot of things that they are coming up now, that are coming up now to me, could necessary. And hey, this is not necessary to me. It's not. So what's your point here? Is it wrong to oppose a non-performing candidate or what? No. You are right, it is correct to move a non performing governor, and it's also right to remove a presidential candidate who is a monumental liar. How do you mean? So, why are you opposing? Why are you blaming Soludo for opposing the bill for investing on the 4.5 billion share that today is selling for 350 million? Everybody knew Obi, knew Obi very well, is saying. I don't understand. Well, and anybody who is still holding on to what Surudu is saying, look, I made an investment individually. Let me just make this scenario. I made an investment individually of about, let's say, 10 million naira, and I was having good arrow in it until, you know, all of a sudden, it started crashing. Now, the naira started crashing, there's price inflation, the years went by, and we are now in 2022. And that's my 10 million naira is now worth, let's say, a million naira or is not what that is what it worth so are you trying to tell me now will you blame me for it of course you won't blame me and you also not will not blame the investment platform because that is what is going on you understand uh -huh. you even blame people even ask you why didn't you pull out but the thing is and it is an individual imagine you somebody telling you ah, i lost so they'll tell you why you know they monitor your investment that's on by your side now, Obi made an investment and left office. And of course, automatically did not have any, you know, any need to go out and start, you know. No. Who is the non-performing governor here? Obiano region was better than the people, than your money. Obiano governor was, Weijing was better with the people than your money civil governor. Okay. Well, there is nothing equally wrong to stop Lai Lai presidential candidates. <laughs> You forget that the five, the three point five billion naira share grew over seven point zero during the Biano's tenure, but he did not have foresight to harvest the profit. Or do you expect to be who is already out of the government to take that decision for him? That has been reasonable for once and puts the blame where it should be. That is Obiano. Well, uh, 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 the eldest one no necessary if you ask me. It's no necessary at all. This is not necessary. Hmm? There are 18 presidential candidates. When one of them wins, the other 17 will be losers. Even if Obi loses, it is his loss more loss than all. It is his loss more loss than that of the other 16. What is your problem? If he loses, are you going to be compensated for other losses? <laughs> this person is making us why then they push you up and down. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 
Why is your mouth running up and down? Do you belong to the People Democratic Party or to Abga? Why is it that it is only you among all the people that knew about all this? Please go and rest and close your mouth. Or we term you an anti-party activist because you cannot be in the PD, People Democratic Party and Abga at the same time. Hmm. This old man, upon all your consultation, the only lower job they don't give you. Papa, go rest. Today, Atiku. Tomorrow, another. Waiting be this. <laughs> Well, to the best of my knowledge, you Nigeria, we could shine our eyes well. Hmm? We open our eyes well, well. Make sure, say, we don't make mistake because this time around, if you make mistake, it's you know, you know, go be mistake again. You go be saying that we could, we like so far. If you are living in a glass house, do not throw stone. Karma is dealing with Obi. I don't understand. Karma bow. How? Have you dusted up anything against him? Or is it a crime to oppose the re-election of someone who squandered the huge funds left for him to improve the fortunes of Anambra people? Did it solution require that he met with debt as he took over? Throw your stones as will be so that we get informed. Hmm. Okay. For over 30 minutes, story for Nikompos. Olasi, go and rest. Based on your history, as you narrated, you should be resting with your grandchildren, big if you have any. We are tired with your likes, Trembo and Atiko. You are old enough to go home and stop deceiving people. You have no legacy to hand over. If you are still following a person like Atiko and protecting your PDP, you are a disgrace and total failure to the evil race. It never reached like that. So we can make blood not splash from my body. My own is all those things I didn't necessarily know. Are they the criteria I'm looking for? No. We want people who can come in and who can improve the government. People who will come in and things will get better under them. Those are the kind of people we want. Hmm? Mr. Olasi, it would have been better that he stops Obi another time, but unfortunately, Obi alone won and squandered all our state's money. Okay, oh. Where is okay? Where is this dead wood from? This is the same man that connived with SL Oba and set ABS radio and television house on fire, vandalized all government parasitical in Anaba State during the time of Ingege. This masterminded and supervised all those atrocities against Anambra State because of the People Democratic Party died permanently in Anambra. After all this, Peter B. emerged and corrected all those skills through Abga, and now his basket mouth is here, shamelessly campaigning for the People Democratic Party, a party that is dead and full of corrupt and corrupt politicians and criminals. Vote wisely, vote Obi Dati come 2023, vote Labour Party, it is a divine mandate. Nigeria, vote wisely and smartly, you do not get to have a chance twice. Alright, and this note, we have come to the end of the news.